trailers are the tankers, reefers, vans, flatbeds, or other equipment that your drivers will be using to haul their cargo. So you can see in here, it's pretty much the same as every other directory page. You have the ability to create new ones at the top and to manage the uh, existing trailers over here on the side. So in here, we're gonna go ahead and click create new and you can see that you need to put in a name for your trailer as well as the carrier and the owner. So the person that's operating it as well as the individual company, individual or company that is owning that piece of equipment. And you can also sign it to a terminal option if you want. Other things in here, you can select the type of equipment that it is, put in the license plate, the state, the VIN, make, model, year, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm not gonna fill this out, but it's pretty straightforward like every other form within load call. And then the other important part down here is the activation information. So within the driver settlement accounting system, there's the ability to have different withholdings or reimbursements based off of their equipment that they're using. And so putting in the equipment as being activated on a specific date or deactivated on a specific date will affect uh, drivers, typically their withholdings if it's a company trailer or uh, potentially reimbursements if they're bringing it in and you're paying them for use of the trailer for those specific days. So important to get this information correctly. But once you've gone ahead and filled out all this information, you can click Create Trailer, and it'll take you back to this main page. And on this main page, you can see we have the trailer's names, the carrier, the owner, which may be different, it may be the same. Uh, you can see right here, sometimes at the same time it's different. The type, make, model, driver's license, VINs, all of that sort of stuff. And once we've done that, we can click into view. You can see all that information in the view, including expirations that they may have. So this integrates in with the uh, load call onboarding and compliance system also, as they look, sign on to drive with you, you can have them optionally fill out information about their expirations. So you can see I've got a bunch of expired documents for this specific trailer, which will um, be covered in the video with expirations in that part of the software but uh, you have access to the expirations from in here. You also have the ability to edit, which will take you back to that main form right here when we created the trailer. Also underneath this three dot menu is manage equipment, ex or manage equipment assignments, which lets you see which driver is currently assigned to this piece of equipment. So Eric Herrera right here, who works for Illion Transport, has this truck, or in this case, this trailer, and you can also see the truck ID. And then you can see all of the trucks and trailers for uh, that specific carrier, which in this case, this Ilian Transport is only assigned out. So it's probably just an owner operator with uh, this one truck and trailer set. Uh, the other thing you can do here is copy a trailer or delete a trailer. And with that, that's uh, trailers within load call.